Right then, just finish the discussion with Mitch and Tom, obviously. Um, I'm going to be doing the player ratings. Feel a little bit better now as, than I did at full time. You know, I was really deflated. I thought after that performance, you know, to let ourselves down like that, um, it was really disappointing. But you've got to take the positives from that one. You know, we put a really good shift in against a, a tough side in Torquay. Um, we, we showed our qualities, I thought, and I, I just feel like the weakness that everyone's been talking about, losing Dennis and Thomas, you know, if we'd have had players like that in that game, we'd have put that game to bed so easily. That first half, we were really good. Um, but, you know, to sort of pluck out the negative, we've conceded to a set piece again, and it's very late on. Um, they were down to 10 men. But, like I say, <clears throat> got to take the positives from it. So, I'm going to go on now to the player ratings. Still, debut for Knotts. Nice distribution wasn't great. Uh, could have been a lot better, I thought. It, you know, there's two, three, four occasions I can pick, think of now where it's just gone absolutely miles off where it should be. Uh, even a goal kick that nearly hit the camera then. But, you know, we, we won't talk too much about that. I think he, he's done quite well, hasn't he? To come in, he's obviously assured. He knows the game, so I feel like that helps the defence a lot. It gives them a bit of confidence. And he's obviously helping the defence to, to pick players up. Um, I'm going to give him a six. Um, people are saying he's at fault for the second goal, but you know I don't think you can really time down too much to that one. Um, on to I'll go for the centre backs first, and then on to the wing backs. Um, Lacey, then I thought first off the the, the centre backs were fantastic, and obviously he's only played the first half. Got to see him go off. It sounds like he's got picked up a bit of an injury, um, so I'm going to give him a seven. I thought he was really good. Um, the defence just looked really assured in that first half, even up to the first sixty, maybe seventy minutes. They looked really good, so I'm going to give Lacey a seven. Rawlinson. I'm going to give a six and a half. I feel like for there, I mean, you can't really tie it down too much to be in his fault. But I feel like Rawlinson should probably, or any of the centre-backs should be moving across the pick-up because there was three empty men for their first goal, three open men even. Uh, so any one of them could have picked it up and put it in. So yeah, six and a half. But you know, all in all, it's an improved performance for him. Um, there was a time where, you know, people are making life difficult for him at the back, you know, where they're, playing out from the back and there's a lot of pressure on so it is difficult sometimes I feel like for players like Rawlinson to sort of play like that because it, it is high pressure but anyway Ellis gets a goal again he's unbelievable isn't he really um, yeah, he, he just always seems to get a goal solid picks up a head injury he's always putting him, his body on the line isn't he um, maybe a bit high considering we can see him too but I'm going to give him an 8 I just feel like he's been such a great addition to the squad um, yeah, not really much more to add on that. Chickson, he's not massively been involved in this game, I don't think. Um, he's done a, a few bits and bobs where you're thinking, you know, he's just so much better than he was at the start of this season. So I'm going to give him a six and a half. Kelly Evans then, what a strike from that man. What a goal. Uh, he's been he's he's been looking for a goal all season, I think, and a, a, a decent goal at that. And, you know, he's got it today. Great goal. Um, I'm going to give him an eight. I think in general he was just so much better. Um, he ran the wing really well. He seems like he's, you know, sort of transforming into that wing back now more than a, a full back. So, yeah, um, really good today, I thought, from Kelly Evans. Reeves then, I thought his movement was, was fantastic today. Um, something that we've lacked in recent weeks is, is good movement. But I, I feel like that's because of Doyle being back. It allows that movement because he's so assured and, he, you know, he, he, he firms up that, that back. The, the back line um, I'm going to give Reeves a 7 um, he, it might be a little bit high but for me he, he you know he's, he's making those runs he's making the job for everyone else easier on the pitch so you know I think 7's fair Jim O'Brien he's driving runs I mean they, they just changed the game I, I think um, and it's just one of those games where he comes into you know where you know it's going to be a tough opposition you know I'm thinking back to games like Stockport other games like that where he comes on or he starts and he's just he, it's just those games where he's up for him you know where it's going to be a, a battle he, he it, these games sort of games suit him so well so i'm going to give him a seven and then obviously doyle i'm going to give a 7.5 i think it's great to see him back he was quality wasn't he um i'm sure everyone will agree it's great to see him back and it shows the squad looked so much more settled and calm so it, it really does show um, yeah, so I'm obviously going to go on now to the strikers. I'll go for Knowles first. I thought he was such a positive player today, in in the grand scheme of things. Um, he was making he was making life hell, wasn't he, for the the, the tall key back line? 
you know, I, I was talking to, to Mitch, who we've had on the discussion at half time, and, and he was saying, you know, this is a game that Knight could really ignite because if he can put those runs in and stretch the defence, you know, we, we could be running away with this game. But yeah, I'm going to give him a six and a half. He's obviously not got a goal, but, you know, he, he's really sort of bringing out other skills, not just goal scoring now, where you're thinking, you know, he, he is a valuable asset. So yeah, I've gone. That's what I've gone for for Knowles and Wooten. You know, it, it, it's a tough one. I'm not going to be too hard on him because I feel like the attacks that we have had today, if we he's not on the pitch, you know, a lot of them don't actually happen because the way he holds up the ball when he's back to the goalie is brilliant and he's always in the right place, but his finishing's just not quite there at the moment. So this wouldn't be a seven, seven today, but I had to knock it down to a six. Um, because of the misses that he's had. He's had a couple of a couple of really good chances today that he should have put away, and I'm sure he'll be kicking himself about. Um, onto the subs then. Miller, I, I just don't really see him getting too involved in, in the second half when he has come on. I'm just going to give him a six as a, as a quick flyover. Knight, he looked a lot better, a lot better. His decision-making was a lot better. He was willing to take a man on, which we've not really seen from him since he's come in. So it's good, good to see that, and it's good to see that that's probably coming from from some of Birchnell's training sessions. So I'm going to give him a six and a half. You know, a lot better. Griffiths, another player that's not really been too involved. He's come on quite late on in the game, hasn't he? So I think it's fair to give him a six. You know, we can't really give him much higher than that. And that is the player ratings complete. Um, <clears throat> yeah, initially pure disappointment. But it's a different type of disappointment, isn't it? Because we've put in a really good shift today as a team. We've just not quite got the result late on at the end. And, you know, albeit they were down to 10 men, but you've got to take the positives from that. And the players have as well. Um, I'm just gutted for the players. You know, I really wanted them to get that win today. I thought it just gave them that boost to get to get a good streak together. But, you know, on to Tuesday. I'm really looking forward to it now. I just, it, we're just etching closer, aren't we? To being back in stadiums and i cannot wait to be back in stadiums me tom everyone on the channel every fan we speak to is itching to get back to the stadium so uh yeah we'll see us um tomorrow for the preview uh should be at 7 or 7 30 so you know stay tuned on our social medias and as always thanks for watching guys